Hey everybody, Dan the Wolfman here and Wonder Puppy ready to do yet another breakdown. And as if I haven't peed off former ex-Special Forces guys enough with my Mike Glover video, I'm going to do a breakdown of uh, Warrior Poet Society John Lovell's five, top five most humiliating submissions. If you're not familiar with me, I'm a catch wrestling subject matter expert, a combative subject matter expert, a guy with four black bolts, one of the few in the world with both a BJJ black belt and a highest on grappling system black belt under Gene the Bell and Gokur Shivichin. So uh, anyway, I'm just mad that John's never shown me any love, you know, showing me some rifle techniques in exchange for me teaching him better combatives and, and grappling since he's, lest I heard, just a blue belt and a former wrestler. Uh, but, you know, of course, I already peed off probably Mike Glover, who I respect because I think it's pretty asinine that he's basically suggesting people, or at least he carries, ball ammo, full metal jacket in his 9mm. Uh, which Mike's adding on to that video, just a quick segue, something I forgot to mention. If we've seen how many people absorb, you know, five to 12 shots of nine millimeter in police videos and typical police officers are carrying a Gen 3, Gen 4 Glock 17, four and a half inch barrel, polygonal barrel. So faster velocity with a 124 plus P gold dot that does 4.0 uh, cubic inch use a tissue crush and you want to use ball that only does 1.78 per every shot that just zips through 1.78 cubic inches of tissue crush anyway look at the mike glover actually doesn't understand the ammunition he carries in the pistol video for uh more science on that all right let's get on to john mr john lovell with his uh video here are the top five most humiliating submissions and uh and there's a lot more humiliating submissions than these i mean these weren't bad choices and i'm happy to see you get humiliated but oh it would be so much better if you went with a guy my size that would just stretch you out in the most humiliating catch wrestling ways if you want to see what that would be like john you're going to look at my 10 narrated crazy catch wrestling submissions and cool transitions videos that's as i traveled the world as a just a brown belt going with pro mma fighters in japan and thailand and korea and uh, the northwest and all over the place going with a bunch of Check it out. Oh, I dropped it. Sorry, buddy. Going with a bunch of pro fighters. So, yeah, get your medical kits. I have a video on that. I got mine in the back of the car. Uh, John's trying to use his old wrestling skills here, but it doesn't quite look right. All right, let's get on to that. First humili humiliating submission. The rolling crucifix. Now, he goes there with the rolling crucifix under the armpit with the arm and then kind of twister style on the head. I'm going to show you a different way here in one of my videos, some submissions you can learn about how to do this in my ultimate crucifix, all crucifix positions. And uh, here I show how to pull the head and the arms on the the same way. But tough guys, guys will tap in training, but tough guys, you're not going to tap a guy in a real uh, tournament that way. But you can do a combination short choke right there and on the pressure points right under the jaw. And there's the figure four arm bar. And I show a lot of submissions and all kinds of different ways where they all relate three-dimensionally, all different ways of getting into a crucifix position. So if you want to learn that, look at my ultimate crucifix position. Look at this neck crank. I'm about to nail him with here. You've probably never seen before. I'm the man of a thousand submissions. Uh, let's look up another good video to learn would be 10 plus near arm submissions from neon belly. I'll just go through a few here from the belly seminar. I have an hour video neon belly seminar I did in Japan. How you can elbow knee, you can neck crank, you can short choke, you can do all kinds of arm submissions. Position? All kinds of stuff, guys. Next, play. Just luck. Just break. You don't figure it. Okay, so back to John getting humiliated, because who doesn't like watching that, right? But I mean, John, it'd be nice if you, you actually got some Wolfman catch wrestling submissions on you. And there he's just cranking the head. Yeah, it hurts. Uh, you can tough that out, back bridge, and get out of that, though. So that's not my favorite submission from the crucifix. Let's look at the helicopter armbar. That was really pretty. I mean, that was greasy pretty. I got him in it. Puppy, even Puppy approves there. 
John, I'm not far away. I wasn't far away before. We could actually get together. The helicopter armbar. I only found one video of me doing the helicopter armbar attempt, but look at the funny finish here. He defends, head through. Okay, so now I do deep hook and go do the swim move armbar. Shin comes over, putting pressure on the top of the head now, bending him into a ball, grab the leg, flip him over, and finish that Gigi Gatami armbar. Little throwback to live grappling back in the Middle East back in the day. All right, what's next up for Mr. Mr. Lovell, 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 John Lovell. I mean, he was just like a ranger, right? He's not tough or anything. I'm sure he'd have nothing to teach me. You know, I'm just a poor pistol shooter with bad rifle skills. But, you know, I'm just trying to train. Maybe he wants to learn some catch wrestling, some combatives. I mean, he occasionally plays with this stuff. I've commented on some of his knife gun defense videos. And it's like some of it's good, some of it's bad. Uh, oh, now we're going into the twister, guys. So Twister's a cool submission. Usually takes against someone good that's aware of it. 50, 55 seconds to get. Uh, meanwhile, there's a whole bunch, like six other submissions you can get from the truck position. Uh, he's going to show how to roll him back. You can go rolling forward. You can pull him back if they're bigger. He's got the single leg ride here. Uh, I've never met. I was in this area, but I never met Kim teaching here. Pulls him back. Now you got to figure for the legs. And I'm going to show you other submissions here, but I'm going to let you see him. He just goes behind the head, but really, to get behind the head, you need to rock the guy first. So that way the neck is, space is open if the guy knows how to defend. Isn't he cute? having a great time. I know I am. This has been a fun day. All right, so let's go into that. Uh, Let's go into that turtle submissions, that twister right here. I'm going to show the different submissions quick. Learn catch jitsu wrestling turtle submissions. Popular video back in the way. See how I rocked him back to get the head? There's your twister. Uh, but here's a good point to see all the other submissions available from this position, from this truck position, that are usually faster. Bouncer, hammer lock, back of the head. Oh, banana, banana split. Banana split position. Make it down. I go. Crotch ripper. I transfer. I transfer to you. Get keep my lock on tight. Behind the head. Rock him. Rock him to get behind that head. See, that was an important part that was missed earlier. Stretch him out here. Stretch him worse out there. Rip that crotch. Twist that knee sideways. Break it there. Calf slicer there. Super toe hold. Calf slicer of death there. So, as I said, there was a lot of submissions available from that truck. Um, slash twister uh, position. And, of course, a twister is a wrestler's guillotine. Uh, yeah, but we won't talk about that little backstabber son of a bitch that came up with the name twister. But if you want to see the guy famous for making a twister here, here's me training with the Korean zombie. I'm the big guy there in the blue shorts. But look behind me on the ground here. Ready for the rock is the Korean zombie who was famous for the twister. Here's him hitting the twister as we train at his gym in South Korea. There he goes for the roll. And now he's got to get that arm and get behind the head. At first, he attempted the leg. Now he's getting behind the arm. Baseball bat passes it behind the head. Got behind the head there. Should have rocked him a little bit more. And there's the twister submission in the background on the ground there from actually the Korean zombie at his gym. So I thought you guys might want to see that. Uh, what else is humiliating here to Mr. John Lovell? I don't know. All he's friggin' ranger dudes, all these army dudes think that they can shoot pistols. They can shoot rifles real good. Shoot pistols, eh. Watch them shoot steel. They're always hitting low and left with their block 19s just because they got out of the rangers and then they uh, started doing, you know, wet work for the uh, industrial complex carrying blocks so all they know is blocks with horrible ergos and bad triggers and shoot low and left. You guys love me there in Smyrna, Georgia, don't you? Oh, look at that shin on the throat. Grab behind the head, pull down, and extend for the go-go plata. Okay, so I am very good at the uma plata. I am not that good at the go-go plata. 
uh, in live training. I think I only got one video attempting it, but here in video of Learn 7 Submissions from S-Mount, I'm going to show you how to get it on top position. Bring this over, get it here. You want to go down? No, I can't go to my side. And here's how to get the go-go or mounted go-go, go-go from the top. If you have longer arms, you can reach behind the head with the right arm and grab your toes. Come on top with some body weight. So there's go-go from the top. All right. Um, but, John, I want you to know that there is way worse other submissions to put you in. Way more humiliating submissions like the Tickle Cobra Katami. The Tickle Cobra Katami, which is a actual legit submission. You can see me doing it to multiple guys. You tickle or make pain in those intercostal muscles. And uh, then the guy's got to move his legs. Watch this. And I got many videos doing this to multiple people. Tickle Cobra Katami, hook inside that leg and fold them sideways like an accordion. That is the most humiliating and funny submission in all of grappling. And I have videos doing it to other guys uh, as well. And so last but not least in John's video is the heel hook. Now, he's showing here how to do it the way I used to do it. And maybe I'm wrong. And until I break it down with John Donaher and Gordon Ryan, maybe Gary Tonin, um, are we still bailing hay over the opposite? Because I think the guy clears the legs and capoeiras and backspins out of that. So I have switched how I do it. Maybe I'm wrong. I still think I got incredible breaking pressure to break the ankle and rip knee ligaments. So instead of reaping it over the shoulder, if you watch me here, guys, I show with leg isolation. You see, I got his leg hook there. As long as you got a tight two-on-one, even if you don't got the far leg, but you got a tight positioning and you're going for a quick kill, it takes just a little pressure here, and you actually want to kind of put your butt towards their butt under them, just like a uh, old-style boss root and pancreas style, which, of course, I fought in pancreas and uh, commentated in pancreas live in the UFC Fight Pass as well, five of their events. So instead of bailing hay, I don't know, debate it. Is the way everyone always was taught, wrist watch, bailing hay to the opposite shoulder? Doesn't that give a good guy now? He clears that one leg and then Capoeira spins over the top. See, you're not going to spin because you... No. Because <laughs> you... <laughs> and this is a Sambo guy here and he thinks he could just get out of it. I'm going, no, you can't. As long as I have some control, even if I'm not figure four, I should probably be able to destroy that knee and break the ankle the way I do it. Before he can roll out. I just need at least under his knee with this one. This is okay. So watch a couple more seconds here. And anyway, John, I'm glad you did some more grappling. I hope you do more of it. If you really want to learn some combatives, I think you should get with me. Show you some pistol and knife disarms. I'm teaching a seminar to 58 women a night, trying to get them in the 12-week challenge. Because 12 weeks is the minimum amount of time to get to a level where you can be better, defend yourself, and be more aware of your surroundings and, and things of that nature. So anyway, guys, please let me know what you think in the comments down below. Uh, please subscribe, comment, like, you know, all that good stuff. Let me know what you think. And uh, if you want to see more humiliating submissions, maybe John needs to get with a catch wrestler like me. All right, guys, take care, everybody. Have a good day. Be safe in training. Guys, don't heel hook each other if you're a noob. Uh, those are not for noobs. Take care. Look at all my videos in my playlist.